And you know, John, you mentioned it in the first quarter, the chemistry oh. of a team at any level. You go from Pee Wees up to the yep. pros is such a key component. Boy, and we see it tonight. It's Boy, beautiful. It's it really fun to watch. Actually, both of these teams are showing that. Plus, it's not just the starters. You've seen yeah, just about everybody play tonight, and they know how to play with each other. Yep. It doesn't matter what group is out there. All right, we're ready to begin the second period here. The Trojans will get the inbound up by two, 18-16 over the Bremerton High Knights. One night we hadn't seen was number 50, Bo West, and he's out there now. Kick over to this near side to Terrence Mosley. His shot is off, and Brevin with the board. This time Michael Lawrence up at the point. Goes into quarterback mode right now. Oh, change of defense by Olympic. They're going to start this with a little zone action. Look at that. There it is. Another takeaway. And a put. Oh, it didn't go down. I thought that was in for Quentin. I think everybody here did. <laughs> oh, Lawrence going to the iron. Up in the air, and Bremerton gets the rebound. Oh. And they're going to get a trip to the free throw line for Michael Lawrence. Nice coaching move by Bremerton. Coach Bowden came out and said, oh, we'll give him a little different, or Olympic comes out and gives him a little different look with that, that zone. And Bremerton uh, took him just a second to try to adjust. And that was all that was needed for the, uh, for the turnover. And it was a nice coaching move by Coach Huff for the Olympic Trojans. Oh, first one is off for Michael. I don't know if he prefers Michael or Mikey. In football, he was Mikey. <laughs> It's what Mikey likes, right? <laughs> Mikey likes it. All right, no points though for Michael at the free throw line and the board going to the Trojans just underway in number two, seven minutes to go in the half and a two point lead for Olympic. That was a good idea to try to get it down low by McGinnis, a sophomore out there. A lot of Bremerton hands in the way though, knocking it out, out of bounds. Thornton inbounds, shot is off, and it's going to go to, back to the Olympic High Trojans. And they, sh the shot clock, I was going to say, I didn't think the shot clock should have been reset. And again, they try to go inside, take away by Bo West. Boy, they're actually going into offenses this, this particular quarter. This oh, is Oh, Bo with oh, a big. huge board. Man, there is some action down in that low paint, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> they're letting them play. They yeah, are. I like play. that. So do I. Oh, nice pass. Oh, oh, a great pass by Phillips over to Mosley, but he couldn't quite hold on to it. Still 18-16, two-point lead for the Trojans. Yeah, but I want to say, it's, it's kind of like a 3-2, it's, it's a 1-2-2 two, two zone here by Olympic. Long outside shot by Broussard, it's off, but the rebound to the Knights. <laughs> Gianni Dixon with that one. Wow, a lot of arms in there, holy moly. And Olympic is in the penalty. I like what Coach Huff is doing right now. They're not going to full court press right now in the start of the second quarter. They, they put out a lot of energy in that first quarter, and they're going to play a little zone right now. Not that they're going to relax in that zone, but it's going to help a little bit here to make sure that they have enough here at the end of the game. Yanni Dixon up to the free throw line for the Knights. Number one is good, so he'll get the second shot. Bremerton in the bonus early here in the second period. Second one is off, ball again, tipped around. Bo West with, from Bremerton tries to put it up, and they're gonna say off the Knights to the Trojans. Watch Bo it. in his neon green sneakers has had a couple really hard fought rebounds underneath, just not able to put them back yet. He's got the ball live. Phillips out front for the Trojans. Good boy, or good block that time on the screen. And the jump. Off ball again up in the air. Oh, they're going to call number 30. Marquise Gursky with the foul on that one, but 
Let's see, I guess they're going to call it a shooting foul. He had gathered the ball, remember oh, that. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we're gonna, going, there we go. The things that Dave Ziesmer has taught us. That's they're going right. to tag it to Michael Lawrence. Kitty, you brought up uh, in the first quarter that the concern that Bremerton had was how they're going to do in the backboard. And really, I was thinking that too. Probably if there's a difference in that ball game, it would be there. Bremerton has really battled, and they're battling straight up defensively and offensively on the backboard. And Thornton's second one goes down. 19-17, two-point lead for the Trojans. Lawrence sends it over to Dixon. Down in the corner to Gursky. He'll drive the baseline. And the put through, Deontay Dixon. Quick oh. Phillips, oh man, he tried to got the tip on the second effort, but could not get it to go down. Now Lawrence oh, will go into that. the iron, and this time he puts it through. And Bremerton with the lead, 21-19. Quite the drive by Lawrence, John. Uh, excellent job. Ooh. Great decision. He didn't give up his dribble. He stayed alive. He saw the seam. Scored two. Thornton shot is up. And the board to Bremerton. Bremerton now up by two. 21-19. Lawrence has no fear in that middle. I, I think, uh, once again, coming from his football experience. And Gursky shots off. Good board by Quentin Phillips. Sends it down quickly to McGinnis. McGinnis' layup. There we go. You bet. All right, we've got Quentin Phillips, I think, leading the Olympic with assists. Ball knocked loose, but Bremerton maintains possession. Bruce Iron keeps it alive Whoa. for the Knights. Counted for three for Dixon. That was a great looking shot, wasn't it? Oh, nice finish. Three point lead now for the Knights, 24-21, halfway through the second period. Shot is off by Samuel. Good shot to take the wide open right there. Bo down on the corner, sends it back out to Broussard. They'll work it around. Up front is Michael Lawrence, who shots off. And, oh. And Lawrence is going to get tagged with that one. That was a really tough foul. <laughs> oh, well, I tell you, for Bremerton, we had Shadle in that first quarter. Now the second quarter for Bremerton, and it's Lawrence. Doing a nice job running the offense and really attacking the basket. Now the men in stripes having a little conversation. Yeah. I think it has to do with how um, aggressive that foul was. No, no. Timeout, Olympic. This will be a 30-second timeout. They're good. Well, it was an aggressive foul. But it was. I didn't see anything overly aggressive on it. No, I, I agree with you too, Doc. I think uh, it's okay. And I think it, the way they're playing tonight, and I, I really uh, compliment the officials. I think they've been consistent tonight, but they're allowing them to play. And both these clubs are really, really good when officials allow this type of game to take place. And it's so entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> they're not stopping them. And I think they're getting the point where if it gets out of control in a sense, or really interfering with the progress of the game, they're calling the fouls. But boy, they're giving us a pretty good flow to this game. It's real nice. Well, it's very much like the way Michael Lawrence drives to the basket. Yeah. Yeah. It's not always under control, so he was going after that ball the way he does. Exactly. Full flesh. Yeah, yeah Bremerton with a takeaway, oh. and Lawrence that time, his layup is off, but Andrew Shadle picks oh, it up and converts man. it. Shadle, what a great reverse layup in traffic. I want ah. a multi-camera shoot oh. when you see that kind of shot. Oh. That was great. That's a highlight reel. Yeah, five-point lead now for Bremerton, 26-21. Wow. Coach Huff not happy with the fact that he thought Phillips may have been hacked a little down there. Lawrence with it for the Knights. <laughs> Big screen by Dixon. Over to Shadle. Long outsider by Andrew. It's up and rebound pulled down by Zach Thornton. Oh, good another. pass. Oh, that time RJ gets hacked and will get a trip to the free throw line. How many times have we said Quentin great passes <laughs> here in his first half? Exactly. Brilliant. 
R.J. Neal, one of the seniors up to the free throw line for Olympic. Little short on that one. And Coach Bowden's going to give Michael Lawrence a little rest, it looks like. Catch some he catch his it. breath. Oh, he <laughs> it. Second shot coming up here for RJ. Count it. It's a four point lead for Bremerton, 26 22, and now some full court pressure. Olympic now out of their zone, straight up, man to man, full floor, back into a man. Yeah. Coach Heff directing his defenders. Shot is up and a nice pour down oh. low. Second shot. Oh, oh the big block oh. by Phillips. And the Olympic Trojans get it. Oh, man. McGinnis surrounded by men in blue. Three seconds. Gold. There yeah, you the are. What a surprise. Yeah. All right, the three second call. <laughs> Haven't seen my that breath. one too often. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Now we do not have number 34 for Bremerton. Is that Skyler? He must have come off of the JV. Oh! Uh oh! Oh, that one's gonna upset Coach Huff. Oh! 34 is Skylar Lewis. Uh, that yeah. is correct. He's had some good work under the hoop. Now we've got that full court pressure man to man. Under two to go here in the first half. Quentin Phillips getting a little break on the bench now. Broussard out front, guarded by Mosley. Shaquille Jones, his shot's off, board pulled down by McGinnis. Nice move up court. Oh, Neil gets oh, his own, own shot, and he'll <laughs> get a trip to the free throw line for two. R.J. probably it looks like about the shortest guy out there. Maybe he and Windrow. R.J., fun to watch, isn't it? Oh, man, great effort. Fences the ball so well. And he followed his shot, and he took it to the big timber inside. <laughs> Number one is good. Yep. R.J., two of three from the line tonight. That's where his two points are from. Both teams in the bonus. A minute 33 left to go in the half. And seconds off. It's a three-point game. 26-23. Bremerton leading. Shado with it. Hakaya doing a really oh. nice job out there on defense. Oh, and Shado oh, traveled. Man. Got him uh -oh. out the front. They're going to say the yep. foul before the travel. Yeah. Like, was there a lot of contact? Amazing, isn't it? That <laughs> oh, oh. And Shadle will go up to the free throw line for the one and one. You know, with all this contact, you got a couple of both clubs. They're tough. They're really tough. A lot of teams can't play against this kind of contact. It takes them right out of their game, takes them out of their rhythm, their shooting, their focus. But these clubs can't, both these clubs are tough. They kind of thrive, they thrive on it. Well, and this will do them well if they move on in districts. Yes. And number one's good for Shadow. I was going to say, once we cross that bridge, we see this kind of game, John, a lot <laughs> more often. Absolutely. It is the commonplace, yeah, once you, once you cross the bridge. But both these teams do so well with it. It's their style. Second shot's down for Andrew Shadow. Five-point lead, 28-23 for the Bremerton High Knights. Shadow in double figures already with 11 points. Down low. Short shot off the iron, but right there. Oh, nice follow. Two follow throughs there. And finally put down by Zach Thornton for the Trojans. Lawrence back in the game. Scrum on the floor, jump ball. Coach Huff liked that one, that's for sure. Yeah. Now the other word Coach Bowden used, control. And that is the thing that he wants to see a little bit more of from his team. And Andrew Shadle's going to inbound it right in front of Coach. 
Lawrence with it. Shot is blocked, but coming away with oh, it is job. Austin Garrett. Puts it down for the Knights, and it's a five-point lead. Oh, ho, ho. nice drive, but could not complete it was Mosley. And quickly the other way, Shadle down the paint. His shot's off, but a rebound and a foul. Tarek Sims will go to the free throw line. <laughs> This is impressive. You know, the other thing that impresses me about these two clubs is emotional control. I tell you, you're getting hacked and you're, there's a lot of, lot of physical contact, but there's no, no loss of focus. They're not getting caught up. They're not emotional. There's not a lot of talking to each other. They're playing hard. Bremerton with its biggest lead tonight with just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Tarek Sims. Second one's good. It's a 32-25 lead for the Knights over the Trojans. Now, in theory, you'd hold it for the last shot. I'm uh, not sure that concept is out there, but it kind of looks like they're trying mm -hmm. that. Yep. RJ Neal tries to get inside, and ball knocked loose, and Bremerton's going to come away with it. Under 10. Broussard inside to Sims. Oh. Won't go down, and last second shot won't go up. Wow. And it is a seven-point lead at the end of the first half of the Bremen Nine Nights, 32-25. And a lot of that came in the second half of the second period. Oh, was that brilliant or what? What a great, what a great half we had. Uh, we had uh, Olympic and uh, coming out here and just, just really getting after defensively. And Bremerton comes back. What a run they had. When Olympic went into that zone, that really, they were very patient, Bremerton. They got back and took the lead. And then Olympic got out of that, went, man, the pace picked up, and here comes Olympic again. Brilliant. This was so fun to watch. Well, and there's just such strength on this Bremerton team. You know that they've been in the weight room. The first thing that leads in is their butt. <laughs> and they are, are making some room, I can promise you. All righty. Well, we're West Sand TV, a great high school basketball game for you tonight. This is played on February 1, 2013 at the Olympic High Gymnasium. Spencer Anderson is on the camera tonight, and we really want to thank the kidsapsun.com slash basketball for streaming it live to the community near and far. We've been having calls from people from Utah, Wisconsin, grandparents who are so happy to be able to see their kid, their grandkids playing. So we really appreciate the son's effort to do that. John Sitton's on one microphone, Kitty Campania's on the other, and I'm the Dr. Doc Parr. We'll have the second half for you shortly.